Welcome to another episode of Soda Desperado Plays Ark Survival Ascended. I'm over, this is somebody else's base. I temporarily parked here. Because um, I was like in the middle of something. Here, let me get some fur on for this thing. Uh, has a cow here. So anyway, I was out and about looking for uh, raptors and such, and that's all I was really doing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play a video. I got like several videos lined up, but uh, here's the first one, DoorDash. She does, I guess, food delivery. I says, I quit my call center job for seven years. I'm at six years right now. Me. Hard work gets you nowhere. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Miserable people want you to be just like them. Don't don't be somebody who actually wants to do something other than work a job. Let me tell you something. I'm going to be so straight up with y'all because I I really want y'all to know my thoughts. A lot of these thoughts I've never expressed because people tear it down but I want y'all to know my thoughts because I feel like they'll help somebody okay who's stuck and you may feel like you are stuck but let me tell you something when you think of a tree right and you think how a tree grows fruit do we need to help that tree out when you when you think about the clouds and how the clouds rain do you think we need to put water in the clouds when you think about soil, right, and how soil is a nutrient and it grows things, do we need to help the soil out? What makes you think that humans are any different? What makes you think that humans need to be led? I'm going to tell you something. We are so powerful as a person, as a human, that we haven't even tapped into how amazing and powerful and brilliant we are. We have been taught taught that we need somebody else to make us better we need to read all these books if you ever oh my god if you ever become the human that doesn't need to listen to a hundred people read a hundred books if you ever oh my god if you ever become that person most of us were born that way who trusts in it. you and believes in your natural abilities uses your brain like what what if you ever become the person that believes and trusts in your own intuition and trust yourself fully despite being afraid of being homeless despite being afraid of losing everything despite being afraid of losing people if you become that person who actually knows how powerful you are as a as a as a human Ooh. Ooh. If you ever become that person who's not afraid of shh, I ain't afraid of being homeless. I ain't afraid of losing everything because just being on this earth means I have everything I need. Everything. The natural downloads that come from the earth to the trees to the soil, to the clouds, to the birds, to the environment. Don't you, you don't know that we have that too? Have you ever heard of psychic ability? Have you ever heard of intuition? If you become that person who believes so hard in what's meant for you, it will happen. It will happen. Things will just happen. <laughs> people will just come into your life and want to help you things will just flow to you easy when you become that person who believes baby and not afraid and not scared and you don't back down because of a little mishap that happened in your life oh <sighs> baby 
if you become that person, despite the things that happen, that you don't, you stand strong, you believe, you start speaking things as though they are, ooh, I don't think you understand how powerful we are as a human. I don't think you understand how powerful we are just to be on this earth. Do you think we are here alone? Do you think we are doing this thing alone? Do you think we are just here? Do you think that we are just? No, baby, we are powerful. And you know what makes you powerful is your thoughts, your mind, your beliefs. You scared of being homeless, but you're homeless on earth. <laughs> baby, you're, you're here on this earth. Do you know you have everything you need? You don't need to be, you don't need to read a book. You don't need to watch a video. You have every single thing that you need. You were put here on this earth, you're gonna be all right. If you lose everything, guess what you still have? This powerful mind that can receive downloads, that can receive thoughts, that can receive intuition and abilities to do things that you never thought were imaginable, but they can't, they're not gonna teach you that. They teach you to work a job. Now what they have given us, I will say, is two brilliant things, an LLC and trademark. <laughs> Gee, Once you okay. get an LLC, the world is open to you. It only costs $600. Once you get a trademark, baby, the world is open to you. It only costs $600, I got both of them. You can create your own payroll system. You can make your own income as a self-contractor or have your own business and pay yourself. Create your own checks and never have to worry about a job creating a check for you. You want to get a car? Baby, you got a payroll system. You got your checks. Go give it to them. Boom, you got the car. You want a house? You got your own business and an LLC and a trademark. You create your own checks. Baby, now you know you have to have income. You can't just be creating checks. But baby, they don't teach you that. Guess where you learn that kind of stuff from? Other business owners. Not in school. Baby, school was taught to make, to make you a worker. Now, those are two things they gave us, an LLC and a trademark. Get that? The world is yours. But after that, you got to use your brain. You got to know how powerful you are as a human. You got to know that the world got you. The earth is downloading things inside of you. Don't nobody need to tell you nothing. The only thing somebody else needs for you, needs to do is come into your life and help you get closer to your freedom, closer to your financial freedom. That person comes into your life and changes your life. But you can't be afraid to do things. I paid 100 up to $150 a day for a car rental. Yeah, people were telling me, you crazy for spending that much money. But you have to do those things to attract those people into your life and guess what that did for me that attracts someone into my life and they bought me a brand new car all I have to do is pay them back for it I believe so deep in myself that I could live in a certain area that I created my LLC and my payroll system and I was able to use that to get one of the top apartments in my area yes it's an apartment and that is totally fine I'm at a point in my life now where I know how powerful I am. And if I have to lose everything to even get more closer to that power of who I am, I, I got me, I got me. And if I'm no longer on this earth, then I'm done. But while I'm here, I am powerful beyond measure. I don't need to worry about if I lose my job, if I quit my job. If they fall out of my life, if they leave my life, you know why God created billions and billions of people? Because he got you. Somebody walk out of your life, guess what? You meet somebody else. You lose one job, guess what? You got another one. The earth has everything in it that you need. Ain't no need to worry. So you worry because your faith is low and you don't believe in how powerful you are. Your mouth, your voice, your mind, your brilliance. You are absolutely brilliant. But you can't see it because you weren't taught it because the people in your life don't know it. So then you got people who want to say, oh, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't give up. Oh, you're going to be homeless. Girl, you're going to have these people homeless. Well, let me tell you something. At least I'm doing something. Don't be that person who got everything to say and not doing nothing. 
That's why I love YouTube because YouTube is so powerful, baby. It is sharing people who God has chosen. The people that show up in your timeline, it's not a coincidence. The people who you see, it's not a coincidence. God is trying to show you something, trying to tell you something. I know you feel it. I know you know it and I know you hear it. I know you see it. No longer a sheep. You're afraid. You're scared. One of my friends, his biggest fear is being homeless. And it was mine too until I realized that that is a big freedom. Any billionaire you know, ask them if they were homeless. Any successful person you know, ask them if they were homeless. Because if you really want some dreams to come true in your life, you're going to lose all the tradition that people say. Work a job. You're going to lose your wife. You're going to lose your... Baby, people, you gonna... people who are super successful in this life have lost some things. And they have changed lives. If you just want to be here, I used to just want to work a job, go home. Baby, done. Done. I want so much more. Because now I know how powerful I am. I know who I am. I know whose I am. And I know that this worth, this earth, I know this earth provides what I need to be the best I need to be. And if I'm okay with just being little, then I'm only going to get little. But if I want more, then the people that are, that are going to help me get there are going to come into my life. And the natural downloads from the earth and the, the sun and all of that is, gonna, is already in me. And all I need to know, all I need to do is believe and think powerfully no matter what happens no matter the stress no matter what i lose no matter what else what happens to me if i continue to show that i i want more i am more i, I give my money to the people who are who are going to be attracted into my life i'm not afraid to give my money i'm not afraid to give my time if i got to be on the road 14 and 15 hours a day working that's what i'm going to do but I'm not going to be stuck behind a desk wasting my time because I want more. That's just me. I don't feel like God would waste this amazing creativity of connecting two people to just create somebody who's just going to be okay with living a regular life and dying. That happened. That's fine. That's why he creates so many people. So, this is just basically to those of you who want more out of life and you're not okay with being a sheep. Know how powerful you are as a human. Don't be afraid. Because let that fear of being homeless and losing it all cause you to go hard in the paint. Let that cause you to create a video every day. Let that cause you to work in the road for 12 and 13 hours. And don't, and don't sit up there, the car problem, the tire, the nails. Baby, you know how many nails I have had in my tire in the past month? Do you think that's going to stop me? Do you know how many transmissions have went out on me? Do you think that's going to stop me? I am here to live this life. Show me how powerful I can be. Show me what I can take. Show me. I'm not afraid. And people want you to be like them. They want you to be afraid. Baby, you be afraid if you want to. I'm not. Yeah. When... Uh, it you go through the initial stages and then I notice people they hit a certain mark and right away all of a sudden uh, they're giving you advice and what's happening is she's at her height of success in, or not height of success but she's high on success right now and so she's excited and she's wanting to share and whenever you have good fortune which she did obviously she's having good fortune now um, and she is giving good advice that's where that's coming from you know 
sometimes when you get wealth, you want to share it. You want to give the idea. You want to, you know, just give it around. And, oh, that's some okay stuff, I guess. Can eat that. Um, okay. Anyway, I don't know. If, I don't think I have enough fur. I didn't take off with enough fur. Let's do this. Anyway, um, it takes a long time to do what she's talking about. And that's assuming you find it in yourself to develop the confidence to do it. Yeah. A lot of people want to do what she's talking about with the LLC, etc. And they just don't want to do it. They don't want to bother with the taxes or anything. But... What you have to understand is you may not like it initially, but after a year or two, all that stuff is routine. Everything you have to do is routine. And, you know, doing your taxes, doing certain notations, it's all just a routine. Like they're gonna not let me do what I want to do. I want to get that drop before it disappears. That's the high level one. That might be the 240. Ah, oh, it's 128. Yeah, there was a 240 max level right there in that area. And I was freaking out the other day, but I didn't have what it took to tame it. My uh, gun isn't strong enough to really do it. It would be, man, I'd have to make like 50 guns. And what happens is if you don't make it go to sleep on time, uh, you know, before you run out of bullets and all that. What happens is uh, you could potentially lose the tame or just kill it because you're hitting it so many times. You see, you're hitting it so many times and you just don't want to lose the tame. You don't want to kill it because what happens is you wind up. See, there's an animal inside there. I don't want it attack. So that's what I'm trying to disturb. Anyway, I'm glad she's she's 100% uppity there because, man, it's hard to get over those negative feelings and that negative programming and the slave programming. She's basically talking about slave programming, all right, to put it straightly. And... You know, you're not a worker. You're basically a slave. The Illuminati made a uh, slave school. And they called it high school. And they're the ones that made the prisons to put people away without giving them an extra chance or nothing. So. Shit. I'm too heavy. Okay. Whoa, I must have got something really heavy. Metal. Shit. Car no saddle. I'm probably never going to use that. I'm never going to use that. Obsidian. I don't really need another primitive pike or another primitive crossbow or this. So it's mostly junk. Got one saddle out of it. Oh, there's a blue one over there. Alright, so. 
she made a lot of good points and she's motivated and she's her own boss and you know most of us unless we start a business or manage to accomplish something like that you know i'm just a slave i'm just a worker i'm not going to deny it uh, i had aspired to become an investor but i ran some simulations and i concluded that i would need several thousands of dollars to get started and i just don't have that money i don't have the credit I couldn't even get a PayPal credit card with them offering it to me. So, so far I'm very discouraged, but I know better. Like she's saying, if you just hang in there, you'll get past the discouragement. Things will become routine and you'll start to progress. You know, let me go ahead and dump this stuff. It's too much junk. go to this blue one let me start the next video yeah I just got so discouraged but you know I've always been lazy a slacker a gamer that's all I cared about and the reason why is because I had nothing but failure my entire life I kept failing and failing and failing and it didn't matter what I said or what I did if I got a blessing something would come by and swap it up that's what the uh, the Bible says you know the birds of the air will come and they'll just eat your, your seeds. I, I kept losing and I kept losing and there was just no way out of the losing. There was no way out of the slavery. The only way to beat the slavery is just don't work anymore and become a bum and just accept it. That's what my friend did. He basically accepted it. Didn't want to believe that at first, but that's the way it is. What's up, ho? No such thing as the right person realist being I'm back at it again I'm here to explain how there's no such thing as the right person you guys can fuck whoever you want whenever you want and get away with it you know there's no such thing as you know standards for what you need to look for in someone before you fuck them you know that's only up to you and uh, and your partner that's it those are the only two people involved in you fucking and you should not be worried about other people's expectations or beliefs you know don't listen to people saying you have to wait until marriage to have sex or you need to be in a relationship to have sex or you know you need to be a certain age to have sex you know there's no such thing as right or wrong age to have sex or any of that bullshit it's just it's just whatever the right time is for you and that's a personal thing you know no one can say oh you have you should wait until you're this age to fuck or you should wait till you're this age to be in a relationship or anything like that you know there's no right age there's just Whatever age you're, you're good with, at whatever age you choose, you know, that's that's the only thing that matters. And yeah, there's no such thing as the right person for sex, you know. The only right person, the only right person is the person, the people you're comfortable with, which is more than one person, you know. It's not like you have sex with someone and then, you know, it's like out of all 8 billion plus people on the planet, there's only one right person to have sex with, you know. That's not how life works at all. That's complete bullshit, you know. The right person means just whoever you're comfortable with. It doesn't mean one certain person and you should put no standards or expectations on anyone for, you know, what they should be doing with their lives when it comes to their personal lives. You know, you, you, no one has any right to tell other people what they should be doing and when they should be doing it and how they should be doing it. None of this shit matters. And society is just held back by, you know, stupid religious beliefs and just really old fashioned beliefs that just hold people back you know people are still believing that you know having sex at a young age is wrong or being in a relationship at a young age is wrong or you know just being promiscuous or having a lot of sex partners is a bad thing but it's never a bad thing it's always a good thing you guys have to remember that and you know no one you know as far as i'm concerned you i, I wish i had sex when i was much younger you know i wish i did because i know my life would be better but Sadly, I can't do that, you know, and the truth is we all should be, you know, none of us should be ashamed of having sex at a young age, you know, unless we, 
regret it because it was a bad experience. But other than that, you know, there's no such thing as being too young, you know, to have sex or, you know, being too immature, quote unquote, or too young or all this, all this, all this other stupid bullshit that society likes brainwashing you with. And you can do whatever you want with your body. You know, it's your body. You don't need to wait. To, you don't need to get permission from people to do what you want with your body. You know, you don't need that from other people. And you should not be listening to people lecturing you and, and telling you what you should be doing and all this other bullshit. You know, you can be whoever you want to be with. And it's only your choice and your partner's choice. That's it. You know, no other person's opinion matters. You know, not your, not your, not your parents' opinions, not your partner's parents' opinions, not your siblings, not your relatives, not your friends. None of their opinions matter and none of them, none of them mean anything. You know, they're all below you and you have to realize that. You cannot be holding yourself back by not giving yourself the pleasure and desire that you want in this world because this world sucks and we need all the pleasure and desire we can get and there's never enough and we always should be just seeking more and more and there's no such thing as too much pleasure in this life you know if if there is such a thing as too much pleasure then i don't think anyone's ever reached that point you know for for you to reach a point where you know you reach so much pleasure that is bad that would legit have to be such an extreme case and i don't think i've ever seen a case like that before in my life so i'm not going to believe that now that that you know, could exist for sure but i'm not going to believe it exists because i just don't i just don't see it you know to me pleasure and desires and happiness and love and peace these are all good things and these are important things there's no such thing as too much of any of these and yeah we need to not be worried about you know having sex or having or being in a relationship when we're young you know whether it's fucking middle school or whatever it is you know there's no such thing as too young you know it's your personal decision and you have the right to make that decision you know it doesn't matter how old you are you know this is not like a case where like oh you you say like oh okay like i'm i'm underage but you know like i want to fucking buy a house or some shit you know like you can't be like, you can't be fucking 15 years old and buy a house, you know, or another example, you know, you can't be, what's another example? Like you can't be 15 and, you know, fucking driving a semi truck, you know, like that wouldn't make any sense, you know, like that's just a, a big danger right there. And there's just a big safety precaution right there. But sex, you know, then the, nothing bad is going to happen. You know, you, all you have to do is just be safe and be be respectful and nice and nothing bad is going to happen. You guys have to remember that. And yeah, just remember that, guys. There's no such thing as waiting for the right person. You know, people are delusional and they think that, you know, having sex is so sacred and that you need to do it with someone you love and someone that you're really close to. But when you really don't, that's just an illusion, you know. None of that shit matters when you're fucking someone. The only thing that matters is how they look and what you think of them, you know, that's it that's all sex is about, you know, you don't need to like the person at all, you know, you could have sex with someone you, you, you fucking despise, you know, that doesn't change anything, you know, you can still fuck anyone and, and it can be a memorable experience, you know, it doesn't matter who they are, so remember that, guys, there's no such thing as the right one, you can have sex whenever you want with whoever you want, you can do, you can be in a relationship with whoever you want, you know, you shouldn't be held back by society's expectations and, you know, just all of society's expectations and beliefs. And just don't hold yourself back with all the ways society and the government and the people around you try oppressing you and just suppressing what you really feel inside and just holding you down and not letting you reach your full potential. You know, don't let people around you do that. And just remember that you have a right to seek the love that you want. And it is your it is your birthright to seek the love and desire that you need in this world, no matter what anyone around you thinks, whether it's your stupid friends or your stupid family or stupid coworkers or whoever it is. Don't let other people influence what you want in life and don't be afraid to go after the love and sex that you know you deserve. <laughs> oh, a moment there, I got stuck on the ground. That water uh, bumped me off there. Cheap Doty saddle, harpoon launcher. A little bit better, some parts. Nothing fantastic. Well, that guy is completely 100% pro 
premarital sex. <laughs> I want to go. I got to go play with it. Then you get a taste of the real, and, and then the baby starts coming out screaming. I want to go to college. <laughs> anyway, I love this guy, man. He's awesome. Let's see. What's this one? Oh, yes. All right. Sent my own way. Corporations want you to be stuck in entry level forever. That's true, brother. They just want to use you. Unless you have favor, unless the boss smiles on you, you're nothing and you're nobody. That's the truth. So the AC is getting fixed in the van right now, so we have a free roaming video where I'm just out in the wild or outside of a van at least. Today I wanted to talk about how corporations need you to stay at entry level. Because obviously the economy isn't doing too well and I feel like more people are trying to save money right now. So there aren't as many people out buying just all of the consumer goods that they can get their hands on like they were in the 90s and the early 2000s. People are focused on their credit, people are trying to save everywhere they can, and people are becoming more financially literate. Although there are some people who remain financially illiterate throughout their entire lives, unfortunately. But there's more education available now than ever, and I feel like people are waking up and realizing that money does not grow on trees. It's something we've heard since we were kids, but... The fact still remains true that money just does not come from out of thin air. There is not an infinite supply of it unless you are in the billionaire class. Then you have a nearly infinite supply of money, or at least more than you can spend in your lifetime responsibly. And when you have that kind of money, it never really goes away because they have investments and they're getting paid in dividends every month or probably more often than that because they're billionaires and they have access to everything that we don't have access to but they need people to stay at the bottom of the totem pole so that they can continue making their profits and they can continue being rich because the people who run these giant corporations that so many people work for are insanely wealthy almost at an extraterrestrial level. I mean, you already have billionaires going into space anyway, and they're the only people who can really afford to do that. But to live that astronomical lifestyle, they have to have people like me and you doing the grunt work day in and day out. And although some people can move up if they kiss the right behinds, Everybody else has to stay at the bottom until further notice or they decide that it's time to kiss more butt than usual. And maybe they can make their way to the top that way later down the line. But no, these corporations really need as many people at the bottom working minimum wage as they can. Because in times like these, profits are more important than ever for these companies and they're not going to go broke the last thing Jeez. they'll do I heard is something. go broke even if they file for bankruptcy the people at the top are going to deploy their golden parachute and land on both feet and walk away unscathed while people working for that 15 to 20 dollar wage bracket are going to be scrambling trying to find employment because suddenly they won't be able to pay their rent. Suddenly they won't be able to put food on the table. They'll have to apply for government assistance, which I recommend that you do if you haven't yet, if you don't make a lot of money. But I've mentioned that before. And these giant corporations get kickbacks from the government for hiring people who are on food stamps. So, you being underpaid at a corporation is by design. 
They need you to stay at the bottom. They need you to stay poor. But they don't want you to get another job. They don't want you working for another company. They want you fully committed to your part-time job at Walmart, at Target, at Best Buy. Whatever the case may be. These corporations want you to only work for them. They don't want to give you enough hours. They don't want to give you a decent hourly wage. You'll be in trouble if you get overtime, which is just one of the most ridiculous things that I've experienced throughout my time in the workforce since I was 16 years old. Companies not wanting to pay overtime, and you're in trouble if you go over 40 hours. Oh, but you better be there for those 35 hours that they schedule you. You better not call out. Especially at these corporations that use a point system when you call out. Like at Walmart, some of you may know, you can call out five times every six months. Or, well, four times. I think on the fifth time, that's your fifth point. And if you accumulate five points, you're terminated. And Walmart's not the only company that does this. I have a friend who works for a company. He welds. It's a manufacturing company, and... They're on a point system. It's a little more lenient than Walmart's because he's skilled labor and the people who work there have jobs that are a little more meaningful than retail. But, yeah, if he misses too many days, he loses his job and he has a good paying job. But he also has a skill that he can fall back on, which is, again, why I'm considering maybe getting into trades if my current job doesn't work out. Even though I hear it's a mixed bag, I am a hard worker and I'm willing to learn. If I can get good at something and start my own business, that's what I would like to end up doing. Because working for a company, you're never going to make enough. And the larger the company, the less you'll get. And there might be room for promotion, but... You don't want to be doing the things you have to do for a promotion. And I'll tell you one time, working hard is not one of those things unless you're working hard at bending over. Ha! Assume the position, sir. Assume so, the position. So, <laughs> the best option is to job hop because wages tend to go up every few years. A lot of states are on a schedule to have the wage go up by X amount each year. And it's baked in and already happening so the best option if you're working minimum wage unskilled jobs or you're in that 15 to 20 dollar wage bracket your best option is to job hop every year if you're making 14 dollars per hour now at a grocery store work at the other grocery store across town who is paying 16 dollars per hour now because the minimum wage just went up and they want to be competitive so they can still have people at the bottom so the best option until you find a job that can really start giving you a semi-respectable wage because the respectable wages are for the highly skilled professionals and the billionaire and millionaire classes but until you get a decent wage, you should probably be job hopping. Don't be loyal to any company. Don't be loyal to your boss. It's okay to like your managers and get along with the people who have to tell you what to do, but don't get too deep into it. Yeah. I would say just hop from job to job until you find out what you want to do for at least 10 years. That's what I'm trying to do. If I can stick to the job I have now for a few years, I think that would be good, but... If that doesn't work out, I'm approaching my mid-30s. Well, I'm 33. You could classify that as mid-30s. So, if this job doesn't work out, I need to find something that I can stick to, that I can always fall back on. I have skills that aren't so technical, like I can work around animals, I can work in restaurants, I can move furniture. I can fall back on those types of things, but oh, again, that's going to put me in that $15 to $20 wage bracket. And now that's expanding to up to $25. So if you're making less than $25 per hour, you're still probably not doing all that great. Unless you're really frugal. I have found out that if you're able to save 
more than you spend, if at all possible, you're doing pretty well. Because life is expensive, and it's not helping that giant corporations that essentially run the country and guide the government on how to write the laws don't want to pay enough for the people who work in the most positions. They don't want to pay the vast majority of their employees enough to have an enjoyable life or at least a tolerable life. How many of us are out here struggling with depression and being poor isn't helping? I don't think anybody cares. So these giant corporations are not working for you. They're working against you. They want to pay you as little as possible. So just use the job as a tool to help you have an income until you find something better. But keep on looking. Keep on networking. Ask your friends if they know anybody. Do whatever you can to find the next best job. Because where you're at might not have any room to move up. And I want you all to be aware of that because I've seen people waste years at retail jobs, at warehouses, at restaurants. And they're still doing the same thing, making about the same amount of money. Maybe they make three or four dollars more per hour than they did last time I saw them five years ago. But inflation has far outpaced that and... They deserve better for that type of work ethic. And so do you. And I think these corporations need to start paying more. I've said before that I think the minimum wage should be over $30 per hour. And I know that because of the way economics works, that's not always viable or it's not possible or whatever the case may be. But something's got to give. If the wages don't go up, the prices have to go down. But wages and prices go hand in hand. So the solution is just try to make more money. That's all you can do. I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, he's right. You know, you get stuck in a dead-end job like I did. Um. You stop progressing, and after a while, you give up hope of progress. And then you have these dreams of uh, liberation where you no longer are dependent upon the system. And it's just a fantasy, guys. Thing is, the hard thing is that if you're socially inept, like I'm really very socially inept. Uh, I mean, I, I can crack a good joke and all that, but Jesus... To get somebody to trust me with their business. I earned a bachelor's degree by paying doctors to prove me. And I go out there and it means nothing. There was one man who valued my degree. And he paid me well, but he was a complete asshole. He was a piece of shit. spotlights they're talking about but they're an aberration yeah aberration is a different map of this game and it's it's really nice i like it it's just that you know uh, if i ever do go there i'd want to go there with a creature uh you know a couple of uh raptors that i can and breed uh, uh once you're down there you're gonna want to uh i forgot what creature it is that you want to get from down there but You want to get the one that uh, will allow you to survive, uh, like a Megalosaurus or something like that. Because they don't don't sleep there. They're they're awake all the time. And they're literally much better than people give them credit for it, if you know how to use that creature. But anyway, yeah. Just a 52-year-old loser, wasted money on a degree... Went out there thinking everything was going to be fine. I believed all the advertising. I trusted it. And it lied to me. It flat out gave me false promises. It gave me bullshit. 
and the people that did succeed that did get a career that did get the life that they wanted they say well that's your fault that's your problem you did it to yourself that's the truth and I hate to see 20 and 30 year olds in this position but imagine if you're 52 and you're still taking customer service calls and thinking this is a great job compared to the other jobs I've had and the other jobs I've had are warehouse you know just warehouse yeah I went to Michigan to try to start over I got after three months over there I got tired of it they wanted uh, I, my creditors were hounding me and I was in the in the warehouse just working another dead-end job crying I was literally because nobody was around and I was just there doing a they have a lot of machinery that's automated but there it's basically like a, a press steel you put steel in there and you press the parts out with just pressure and then you inspect the parts and you have to load boxes and unload boxes just the standard warehouse stuff but more of an assembly line stuff okay and it was depressing doing that same shit all day day in day out that's all i did and i just cried because that's not what i that's not what i went to school for i didn't i sacrificed years to accomplish something and i got fucked nobody would really give me a chance nobody would train me and it's just another sad story in the world Right now, I wanted to make money with stocks. Well, I did the simulations. I need a minimum of like several thousand dollars in order to do that. And even then, I'll make a profit of like, I don't know, a few dollars, five dollars, ten dollars now here and there. It's not much, not much at all. Uh, it takes money to make money and you have, you have to have lots of money to make money there. And the other system, I was making money uh, but it was all simulation. It's all simulation. You know, there's no guarantee. If you lose and you lose badly, you lose your shirt. I like the color in this one. Reminds me of the one I had before. Let's see. Where is it? There we go. You see, isn't that a nice color? It's only a level 24, but I, I didn't get it because of uh, the level I got it because it looks really cool so eventually I'll consolidate that I had already consolidated them before but I don't mind doing it again Tigger is a, a good one I like Tigger Tigger 344 that's not bad for a tiger um yeah I'm telling you Life sucks without a, uh, the career that you had hoped for. It really does. And I'm kind of disappointed in myself. But I try not to think about it anymore. I just gave up on those careers. I gave up on that shit. I can sit there and read all the books I want. Reading all the books in the world is not going to give me the technical skill I need. Hands-on application of technical skills would. So I, instead of going to the university where they wasted my time with electives and all kinds of other shit, I should have gone to uh, a technical college. But there wasn't one available. And I'm not going to go retrain and retrain and retrain just so that they can tell me, oh, so you have that skill? How many years of experience do you have? Oh, no, we're looking for something better. They literally will refuse you because you have no hands-on experience, even though you have hands-on skill ladies and gentlemen you can have hands-on skill you know i developed a skill after that first job with that asshole the good thing is he paid well and i did get training on hardware so i could put together a computer set up a network and things like that but they just didn't want that they, they wanted to see years of experience so the real test of professionalism and i'll say it again i said it before it's whether or not you lie to their fucking face. That's it. You have to lie to their face. Tell them whatever bullshit they need to hear. Because that's the corporation making that bullshit requirement. 
Not the people, you know. Oh, this one's a long one. That's too long. Let's do the last one. I really don't understand how people... Family suffocates us, realist being 99. Here we go. Expect their kids to want to be around them, you know, even when they're like still pretty young, even like around, even like around like 15, you know, like why the fuck would parents in general expect their kids to want to be with them? You know, no kid chooses their parents. And because of that, it's not like most kids genuinely want to be around their parents often, you know, especially, when they, especially when they get older, you know. I mean, there's a lot of 15 year olds right now that don't care about being around their parents and being around their family, you know, and they're not wrong for feeling that way, you know, so why is it any worse when someone older, older than that does it, you know, I mean, I'm fucking 24 years old and I don't understand why I would ever, you know, need to, you know, just force myself to be around people I don't want to be around, you know, if it's not some, you know, special occasion or like if it's not just some special occasion or some shit like that you know and yeah man i mean what's the fucking point man i mean in, in my family you know a lot of people just say dumb shit you know like racist things and sexist things and you know they'll make fun of homeless people or you know just dumb shit man people just in my family like being judgmental and that light going out is all my hope for humanity going out and basically, I just don't understand how, you know, people are expected to be around their family all the time. And I genuinely don't understand how people, even people that do want to be around their families often, I genuinely don't understand how, you know, like, I genuinely don't understand and I don't ever want to understand because that's just dumb, you know. I mean, if someone is happy being around their family, that's good for them, you know, they don't need to try to explain it to me, you know, I don't, I don't give a fuck, you know, most people are not most people are not like that, you know, most, uh, genuinely just no rational people above the age of 18 want to be around their family often, you know, that's just how it is. Everyone has their own things they want to do that don't involve family. And that's just how it is, man. Family is just a curse. It's just chains holding you back. Now in general, in my family, usually for the most part, I am left to mind my own business, which is good, which is definitely good. But, um, yeah, people still like gossiping, you know, I, people still like gossiping and making up drama and talking shit about each other in my family and like with relatives and I just hate it, man. Like, I'm only talking shit about them in this video because, you know, it makes sense what I'm saying, but I'm not, you know, gossiping about anyone in particular, you know, but that's what they do, man. And I just don't understand the point of being around family, man. And I'm just so much happier when I'm not around them, you know, it's just like, it's just like they're suffocating me and like, it feels like I'm not allowed to fully express my personality and I'm not allowed to fully express my opinions and my feelings. That's just how it is and that's just how I feel in my fam in my family and I know a lot of other people do too, you know, it's very common and with me it's on a more extreme level than most people but I still understand even the people that are dealing with it but not as intensely as me, you know, and I'm always going to understand that because families just have conflict all the time. You know, family is supposed to annoy you. That's why they're called family. You know, that's a genuine thing to remember. You know, they're called family because they're meant to, to annoy you. And that's what family does. You know, it's not like family. Want, it's not like family was born to help. It's not like family was created because they want to help you. Hell no. They're made to bring you down. And oh, shit. people just need to get their head, get their heads out of their own asses and realize that you know, they're better off just not listening to their families, you know, like, they're not, they're better off not listening to their parents, they're, just anyone, man, it's just, especially me, because I know what I'm doing makes sense, and the way I'm thinking makes sense, so, you know, I don't need to take advice from uh, people in my family who have no life experience, and who don't know anything about me, and just make up things about me, and pretend to know me when really they don't, you know, and that's almost everyone, and, yeah, there's just very few people in my family that I genuinely like seeing, you know. There's still a good amount. I would still say, you know, there's... Surprisingly, I feel like, yeah. Surprisingly, I feel like I have more relatives that I like being around than most people for sure, you know. A lot of people just have a lot of relatives they don't like, and that's normal, you know. Whoever goes against that statement is just a fucking dumb, delusional retard who is just in denial and is scared to admit the truth. But, yeah, the truth is a lot of people have many relatives that they don't like and that they don't like being around. 
And yeah, I feel like I have more relatives than most people that I like being around. But even then, I'm self-aware enough to know that even with me liking as many relatives as I do, I still don't understand the benefits of, you know, being around most of my relatives. And, you know, I always remember that my family is better than a good amount of families that actually exist. So imagine how much worse the other families are, you know. My family in general is just really fucked up and stupid and even then it's for sure you know like in the upper half of you know family struggles that people are having you know I there's definitely a lot of people that have it worse but you know I'm self-aware enough to know this and it's damaged me enough to know that you know even with this it's still really bad you know there are very few families that genuinely have it well and that don't argue and that everyone is just healthy and happy you know there are very very few families that are exist that are like that you know legit I'd say at most you know at most maybe one out of every 20 families is like that at most one out of every 20 so basically if like five percent of every family that exists is you know genuinely happy and they don't argue and or at least they don't argue often every family argues but they don't argue often and you know i genuinely don't understand how i can i can never go back on the way i feel and i don't understand I know the older I get, the less I'm going to want to be around my family. And that's good, you know. That's the only way I'm going to be able to make progress, you know. Why would I want to be around my family? Can you imagine me being around my family? Dude, I, I, I can't even think of that, man. I Just thinking of that will, will give me stress. Dude, fuck that shit. I'd rather be fucking laying in a ditch. But dude, are you fucking kidding me? Just put, just put me in a coffin and put dirt over it and fucking throw me out of a helicopter, dude. Like... Why the fuck would I want to be around my family, man? It's just so stupid. I don't know if you guys know this, but no one asked for the family. You guys, you guys, I, I don't know if it. you guys are either deaf or stupid that you didn't do that, it. but I hate to admit it, but I'm sure I the people watching this are smart enough to know. But everyone <laughs> I'm else, sorry. you guys are. I didn't want to believe that. You guys need yeah, to remember that, exactly. you know, <laughs> families don't matter. And the only family that should matter is your own family that you start. You know, if you start your own family, then it makes sense to care for that family. But why would you care for your own family that you were just born into? You know, you never chose to be with that family, you know. But with your wife, you know, like, or with your with your spouse, you get to choose your spouse. And, you know, with your kids, you get to choose if you want to have kids, you know. So that is more of, that is much more of something that you need to be, focusing your love and attention to you know fuck your fuck your family that you came from that, uh, that family can go burn in hell you need to be focusing on your family that you actually made yourself and even with my parents being annoying and dumb they're still they're still better than most parents because they do they do try to do a lot for me and my brother and i can i'm always going to appreciate that and be grateful but yeah they're still dumb and i i know that for a fact so yeah everyone needs to question their family more do not love your family for no reason you know you have to remember that family is just going to hold you back and you know your life is going to be a lot better when you don't focus on them if you don't need to you know only focus on the family members that you genuinely like and i have more than most people do but even then i wouldn't say that that's enough to make me say i genuinely like my entire family you know fuck that shit i'm, not, I'm never going to say that you can go eat my ass and pick the hair out of your mouth if you got a problem with anything i said you know i don't need to i don't need to love people that i never chose to come into contact with you know i never chose this so i will never be manipulated into having feelings that were never meant to be in the first place you know i'm not gonna fucking pretend to like people that i don't like and i'm not gonna I'm not going to think about people I don't need to think about. You know, we need to think about ourselves way more than our families. You know, we need to focus on ourselves. We need to pay attention to ourselves and what's going on with us. You know, fuck them. We need to think about ourselves and about the people we genuinely love and we like, we genuinely like being around. And for most people, that's not their family. You know, that's other people, you know, whether that's friends or, you know, just anyone else you come into contact with, you know, those people make sense, you know. Or, you know, certain people in your family that you genuinely love or that you actually like, which is not that common. But if you do, then, yeah, it's good to, you know, think about them if it makes you feel good. So, yeah, that, that's for sure true. And, yeah, remember, fuck families. All they're going to do is, you know, suffocate you if you, if, if you hang around them for too long. And 
if you have not felt that, then one day you will, and you will learn that it's better to be, not be around family. The lights are back on, but my hope is not. So yeah, I just wanted to finish this by saying, remember, don't feel guilty about not wanting to be around your family. You know, you, you should, you, are, you, you do not deserve to feel guilty for anything. You know, you deserve to never feel guilty. You know, being guilty is a bad thing. You know, don't feel bad about not hanging around people you don't want to be with, even if they want to be around you. You know, you don't need to spend your time with anyone you don't want to spend it with. And, you know, fuck people who say you shouldn't talk shit about your parents. You know, I don't care. I'm not going to wait till they're dead to talk shit about them. I'll talk shit about them right now, you know. Why the fuck do I care, you know. It's not like I'm saying anything wrong, you know. All I'm doing is saying the truth. And, you know, we, we people need to be, you know, I wish people were more open and honest when they talk about their family struggles. You know, I don't understand why people have the mentality of, you know, we should not be talking bad about our families. You know, fuck that, bro. Who cares, bro? If, if they're bothering you, 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 you should tell someone about it. It'll, it'll help you feel better about it. And, you know, it'll show people that the person you're talking about is actually dumb, you know, if you're actually telling the truth. But, yeah, with me, I always tell the truth when I'm talking to people about shit like this. So I have no reason to question myself or question what I'm doing. I know what I'm saying is the truth. And, yeah. Every, I don't care. I don't care who the fuck I offend. You know, I don't care if someone in my family sees this. You know, who, who, they don't. They don't even know if I'm talking shit about them or not. So they can go fuck themselves if Ooh, that's a good they're one. offended by anything I have to say, man. I don't give a shit. That's a good one. And yeah, I'm not gonna wait till they're dead to talk shit about them. You know, I'll do it right now. You know, I don't need to care about their opinions, man. It's not like, it's not like anything bad is gonna happen. Oh, what, well, what's gonna happen? You know, I'm gonna fucking get thrown into a fucking bus saw and I'm gonna be. Sh sh Shred it a bit. Good. That's what I want. And yeah, I don't care, man. I I never chose to be with these people in my life. I never chose to come into contact with them. You know, I can only choose how I react to them, and I can only choose how how I want to spend my time with them, and how much I want to spend time with them. That's all we can control. And we have to remember that. You know, it doesn't matter how old we are. We have the right to say no when we don't want to hang out with someone in our family. You know, it doesn't matter if we're kids. Who gives a fuck? You know. I, I, I would I would I would I would not be a stupid parent and force my kid to be with people they don't want to be with and I would not force them to be around me if they didn't want to be around me all the time you know and yeah don't be afraid to talk shit about your family if they deserve it Yeah, 232 is off off max level by uh, see a 240, so that's eight points. So I'll take that shit right now. Most of the raptors I've seen are just small garbage. The thing is, everybody was set up in this life, as far as I understand it, to be tortured. They'd find out what you like or what you think is good, and they will just fuck you up. You know, they'll give you shit that you would never even consider important or possible or necessary. Either way, you know, you'd lose... And it's just kind of sad that way because you think, well, I can do better than this. We can do better than this. And then in the end, not really, you know, it, it's just sad. And um, I try to accomplish something and right away my mom would block me. She would literally block me from doing what I, I wanted to do. And I had the most unsupportive, cruel, selfish, demented parent. It was like a demon birthed me or some shit. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the way it was. 
but what happened is they probably found some crazy and I, 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 I found out she was like that since she was a kid it wasn't the result of diabetes because when she was a kid she didn't have diabetes she used to eat bags of candy so what happened is she was always like that she always had that shitty personality nobody liked her and uh, that's why her family didn't like her but her family kind of sucks too you know, I've, I've, I've dealt with them. They, they kind of suck too. So, you know, anyway. Mm. Excuse me. It's getting kind of late, I think. Let me see what time it is. Is it time to... Yeah. All right, guys. I think I'll probably do another video later. But for now, I have to get back home. Sucks, dude. If I start this other video, it's too long. We'll play this guy. Make your own world and destroy reality. Let's see what he's got to say. We need to make our own world and destroy reality. And all of us have to just reject this world. And, and we need to demand for a better world to live in because living conditions suck balls right now and the world is just so fucking stupid and t dumb and terrible and i'm tired of all of this i want to be in a better world but sadly i can't be so i have to try to make this shitty existence right now as good as i can and that's all i can do i can only keep trying and it's fucking hard because i don't have the things i want in life and i don't know when i'll get them or if i ever will but yeah, I'm, the older I get, it's just the more I see death as the best solution to my problem because I don't know what else there is to do. And I'm just fed up with everything, man. I don't know why I'm still here. I don't know why I was forced to live for no reason in the stupid world. And since I was forced to be born in the stupid world without wanting to be, I've just decided to just make my own world in my head and just completely reject this world and just reject reality for what it is. And I'd rather live in my own world than live in reality, you know, and because reality sucks and reality is stupid and truthfully, almost no one wants to live in reality anyway. I mean, everyone makes up things in their heads and everyone lives in their own worlds to a certain extent. You know, no one is truly living in reality, you know, there's not, there's not one person out of the 8 billion plus people that are alive right now that are fully living in reality and fully living in the present. That's just, someone like that just doesn't exist. and. We need to realize that we were all forced into a shitty world. We were all thrown into hell. And yeah, it's basically hell on earth. And we're all burning in hell. And we're all fucking being tortured every day with misery and suffering and loneliness and mental illnesses and physical disabilities. You know, life is just hell. And we have no, we have no one to blame but the universe itself. And that's the only logical explanation. You know, we can't be blaming... You know, we shouldn't be blaming humanity or, you know, blaming ourselves. You know, we should be blaming the universe because the universe is the reason that everything exists. You know, why the fuck are humans made the way they are? You know, humans are made in such flawed ways, you know. Oh, why the fuck do we have to do all this stupid bullshit? You know, why do we have to eat and drink regularly? Why do we have to piss and shit all the time? You know, like all this shit, you know, like what's the point? Like there's, there's no benefit to this. Like what's the point of it? Like... Can't, couldn't the universe have just made it so life was way more convenient and so that humans overall were much stronger than what they actually are i mean i just don't get it man you know this is why i say that i reject this world and i reject the world that i'm in and i i'm trying to make my own world that is much better than this shitty hellhole that i've been stuck in for the last 24 years and i'm trying to do my best to go into a better world and I'm doing my best and I'm going to keep going there sooner and sooner. You know, the more that time passes, the closer I'll get and the stronger I'll get over time. So I'm, re I'm really looking forward to it, man. You know, we all need to just come up with our ideal universe in our heads and just live in that world, you know, and just stay there. You know, I mean, what's the point of living in reality? You know, no one, no one has the things that no one has the things that they want in life. And it's just hard, man, you know to not live with what you want and I've just been pushed so far that I've realized that since life has rejected me 
that I need to reject life too. And I honestly should have rejected life much longer ago, you know, like for such a long time now, I've just realized that this life is not the life I was meant to live. And this is not my home, you know, earth is not my home. You know, my home is somewhere else, you know, wherever that is, I don't know, but, but I'm definitely not from this planet. And yeah, I, I just expect to go, go home whenever I die. And I'll be somewhere better when I die and I'm not going to be stuck in hell anymore. You know, I don't know what happened to us that we're all, you know, forced to be born in this world, you know, without consent. And I just don't understand how we were all forced to be born in a world so awful and stupid and inconvenient, you know. I just don't get it, you know. If, if this is the world that we're all, you know, forced upon, if this is the world that's forced upon us and this is the world we're forced to live in, then why would anyone accept this world for the way it is you know why would i don't understand how anyone can accept this world for the way it is and not want change you know like how could you not want to live in a better world than this you know and i feel like everyone does relate to this you know i mean everyone believes that the world can be better you know no one thinks the world is perfect and the world can't be any better you know the world is a fucking awful place and everyone knows it you know it's just everyone sees it as being awful for different reasons you know everyone thinks the world sucks but for different reasons and that's a relatable thing to say you know Saying the world sucks and life sucks is some of the most relatable things that someone could utter, you know. I don't understand how anyone can say they don't relate to that. And we all need to, as a result of that, we need to make a better world in our heads and around us. And we have to just change reality and we have to completely destroy reality and break it down for what it is, which is a piece of trash that belongs in the garbage. And we need to realize that we are, we as humans, can envision much better worlds than the world that we're stuck in right now and we have every right to try to make that world come true and make it make that reality our own reality you know we have to realize that the life we're stuck into and the universe that we're stuck in is not a friendly one and it is completely careless and it chews us all up and spits us out like the trash that we all are you know that's how the you that's how the world treats us you know to the world, we're just trash. And to the universe, we're just meaningless bums. And even though there are people that are trash and meaningless bums, it's just stupid how the universe discriminates against all humans and makes all humans have shitty lives, you know? So this is why I say that we need to reject this world because this world has rejected us and this world has abandoned us. And this world was never on our side to begin with, you know? The universe was never on, on humanity's side, you know? The world wants humanity to collapse and go extinct. And I understand why, because humanity just keeps forcing pain and suffering onto others. But yeah, I just don't want extinction to happen or anything like that. You know, I just want the world to be a better place. And we all need to just completely burn down society and restart, you know, like we just need to like fucking burn down all, all the buildings that exist in this world, all the fucking houses, churches, everything, just burn everything down and restart from scratch and build a new universe, you know, build one that is actually sustainable and build one that will actually result in no suicides, which I don't know if that's possible, but we need to change that because so many people want to kill themselves. And there's so many people that think of killing themselves because they know that the world is so hopeless and, you know, just meaningless and worthless. So we need to try to change things and we have to reject this reality that we've been forced into and we have to spit on it and take a shit on it. and rape his family and and kill everyone that he loves that's what this life deserves you know we can't be nice to life because life is not nice to us life does not give a fuck about anyone and it will piss and shit on anyone's funeral no matter what you know life doesn't give a fuck about any of us so we need to make our own life that is actually caring and loving and that actually wants the best for humanity and for all living species but yeah, until that world exists, we have to continue to envision it and we have to continue to live in that world instead of this world, you know. We all have to check out of this world and just envision a world in our head that we want to live in and just live in that world, you know. We can't be living in we can't be living in this reality the whole time, you know. That's just miserable, you know. This is why people who That's a good are just living in reality all the time are so miserable, you know. You have to have, go into different worlds, you know, whether that's movies or video games or you know, just envisioning things in your head that are actually pleasant and envisioning a world that is actually nice and loving. You know, this is what we need to be doing, not living in reality, you know. The people that say, oh, you're disconnected with reality, you know. I say it too, 
but I say it for certain things that make sense. But most people who say, oh, like, you need to get in touch with reality, like, these people are saying it in a negative way, you know? These people want you to be as depressed and miserable as they are. So don't listen to most people who say that, you know? If I tell someone that they're disconnected from reality, it's because they're a fucking psychopath and a lunatic and a piece of shit. So it makes sense when I say it, but not when other people do. So, yeah, just remember, guys, make your own world in your head. Reject reality and turn down the world that you're forced to live in so that the universe learns that it's it's fucked up and that it needs to change itself before humanity just all commits suicide or just does something to cause mass extinction because humanity is not thriving and humanity is just slowly getting worse and worse as time goes on and we need to be doing the opposite we need to rise as a society and we need to continue to elevate ourselves but that's not happening because most people like being weak and pathetic fools and i don't i keep evolving and becoming better every day and most people do not do that and if people were to make their own worlds and create their own universes and just reject reality for what it is then we would all be much better off and humanity would be thriving and humanity would actually be making you know very important advancements in, in, in society which is just you know being happier and more fulfilled Making a reality in your own head is essentially running away from reality. That's what you're doing. You're running away from reality and you're thinking it's okay because, you know, it's, uh, it's just in your head. But the thing is, that's very bad, really. Okay, so this male does not have any superior characteristics, even though it's a 232. It is not better than the consolidated male and female that I have right there, which is funny. In other words, all the stats, like, well, the stamina... The stamina is... Yeah, it, it doesn't have a better... It doesn't have better stats. It doesn't have better stats at all. I mean, yeah, every, it's just below all the stats that I have. So this is uh, going to be renamed. Um, go to three because I'm gonna have him as a go to. Disabled you, right? I think the pterodon egg got captured. Oh shit! By this one. Oh shit! I was so sure the pterodon egg got captured by him. How come it? must have died it must have not uh oh shit then well i guess the pterodon died because i remember making an egg okay so they didn't pick it up shit oh well i tried you know it was a good. It was. It's. It was a good prize. You know, I could still use it, but it's not going to be for consolidation breeding. So. Well, I have no business really criticizing the notion of going into your own reality because that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, this is my own little reality where I have the power to create a base out of no out of nothing. 
and nobody's here stopping me trying to stop me from doing this there's no resistance here and when there's no resistance I think it's just a little too easy sometimes that's just my opinion you know it's too easy and when it's too easy people don't appreciate any of it unfortunately Anyway, I'm going to put this stuff away. And I'm going to put him here. Should be okay. You are going uh, to make you passive. And... Oh. You leveled up. I see I put everything into melee so that it'll help me out when I need it. Wow, I didn't know you had that. How the hell are you collecting all that shit? I don't even need that. Shit. Okay. All right, guys, thank you for watching. That's an hour and 21 minutes. That's more than enough. I hope you enjoy listening to these people and their testimonies. Everybody's testifying. It's all testifying to me. Have a good life. Even though going into non-reality is really not an answer, it's good to do that now and again because reality is overwhelming. It's cool. But uh, you can rewrite reality by speaking it into existence and overlaying the reality that's been put before you. But you have to be stronger than the reality put before you. you have, like I have diabetic pain. I have to be stronger than my pain. Maybe take a Tylenol. You know, that sort of thing. You have to contest and contend with those situations. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Oops. Oh, no. Oh, it did it again. Damn it. I hate it when it does that. Uh-oh. All right. Here we go again. Same shit.